You know, I used to say that my life um, before Bikram Yoga was controlled, which it probably very much was controlled. And um, I used to think it was very calm and safe and controlled and um, strong. But I think now after taking Bikram Yoga, I wasn't near as strong as I am now, especially mentally and emotionally. Um, especially, yeah, mentally and emotionally. I think physically I was strong before Bikram Yoga. And uh, now I'm just kind of more well-rounded, very much more well-balanced. I am a personal trainer and uh, I've been training for about five years now and I had a client of mine who had been doing the yoga. Um, I don't know how long she'd been doing it, I think maybe just a couple of months, I'm not sure, but she told me about it and I thought, hmm, really, I, I want to go, okay, I'll go see what this, because I'm a person that was never ever going to be a yoga person. I mean, I, anybody who's mentioned yoga, I'd be like, psh. I, mm -mm, yoga's not for me. And so I thought, I told her, I said, okay, well, I'll, I'll come see what it's all about. Now I'll go with you. And um, <laughs> so I went for my first class and uh, it was at five in the morning and Rachel was teaching. And I was used to five in the morning because all my training and all my clients, we always work out in the early morning. It happened to be a week that I wasn't training. So I went and I had no idea what to expect. I was, I was told not to wear lotion. I was told all the, you know, things, bring water and um, I really, the first time, I, I, the only thing I can really remember and tell you about it was that I thought I sucked at it. I thought I was terrible at it. And that is, to be honest with you, the only reason I kept going back in the beginning. <laughs> um, to say the word struggle and Bikram Yoga, I think the two go together hand in hand. Um, it doesn't matter who you are, I've learned. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're super fit, you're super not fit, you're um, you're used to yoga, you're not used to yoga, you're a brand new person, you're a completely old person in yoga, you've done yoga for years, I think you're going to struggle. Um, I have learned in yoga that struggle is an awesome thing. Um, I think that's probably one of the best things I have learned from yoga, that it is okay to struggle. And it's one of those things that has meant so much to my life because I think I've always had a struggle in life. And to me, struggle has always equaled being a bad thing and for once in my life struggles okay and I'm excited that I can say hey it's okay to struggle that means you're just gonna get somewhere you know and that's to me been a huge life turning event for me um, and I thank that to be Grim Yoga because my whole life I've always walked on eggshells wondering when the next struggle was going to happen and walking into the studio going knowing that I'm gonna struggle at some point whether it be the whole 90 minutes or just maybe five minutes, who, who knows? Um, knowing that I'm gonna struggle and being okay with that is huge, it's a great thing. So I would say to someone who isn't used to the struggle to just get ready, because there is gonna be a struggle. <laughs> um, but just know that if you struggle and you allow yourself to struggle, eventually the page is going to turn and it's gonna be better. Um, as far as dealing with um, the hot room and, and <laughs> I don't really think there is anything that will prepare you for the hot room except for, you know, of course, staying hydrated and drinking lots of water. Um, I, and even as a trainer, when I first started, I always thought, oh, I drink enough water, not near enough for what you need for this room. I, I you know, it, just a little bit is not near enough. And you can't hydrate when you're in class, you're drinking lots of water, usually that's just to make yourself feel better. Um, again, it all goes along with the struggle, but really, the only way you're going to get used to this room is by coming. Um, since I've started in February, it'll be a year in February, I've never gone longer than missing two days of class. I've only, I've gone to class at least four times a week. I started out going three times a week. Um, and then I started out going four, and then I started going up, <laughs> going five. It always kept adding up, but I've never gone longer than two days, with the exception of going on my honeymoon, which was I was gone for nine days. I came right back and I've never gone longer than two days um, from missing class. And that's something that I've just done for me personally. It doesn't say that I'm not, not everybody can do that. But really, the best way you can get used to the hot room is by coming. I mean, that's the only way. And some days are going to be crappy, some days are going to be great, some days, whatever. I've just learned that you're going to struggle at some point in the 90 minutes and it's okay. As far as, as friends go, there is no better kind of friend to have than someone that will come in here and suffer for 90 minutes and, and, and hurt and, and struggle and then get out of the room and go, man, that sucked. <laughs> and you get, to, you, know, you get to do it together, you know, but then again, you know that that friend's going to be back the next day or hopefully they'll be back the next day. I, I, I'd like to share an experience I had this week, actually. Uh, Kelly was practicing next to me. and. 
Kelly is someone who was in my very first class. Yep. She doesn't remember it, but I remember her because I, <laughs> I remember watching her do something and I was like, what the heck did she do that? How did she do that? And so anyway, I'd all, I've always really looked up to Kelly because she was in my first class and she was on the front row. And so I, I think Kelly hadn't come very much this week. Anyway, she was practicing next to me last week and um, after class, she came in. We were both sitting on the ground in the locker room and changing room and she just put her head in between her knees and I said, are you okay? Do you need something? And she looked at me and she goes, do I need something? Yeah, I need to come to class more often. And I just said, oh, sorry, you know. But really, she did so much better than what she gave herself credit for. I mean, her bad class is like my good class, you know. I mean, she just does so good. So, you know, we're all, we are all hard on ourselves, but I love being around people who are determined because I know Kelly will be back. You know, I know she's not going to give up. And being around people like that who, are, who don't give up just because they struggled is awesome. It's awesome.